Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, I'll be doing a deck profile on my Dino Rabbits. Um, it's a really old deck uh, that I wanted to try out before the next ban list because I feel uh, Evil's Lord Daka and Evil's Lord Lagia have a good chance of getting hits on the ban list, so I wanted to put this deck together and play it before that uh, potentially happens. Um, but yeah, if you're trying to build this deck just to have fun or, or whatever, uh, hopefully this does help you out. Um, in my opinion, this specific build is definitely for casual play. Uh, but yeah, if it does help you, leave a like and a comment if you have any questions. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, uh, be happy to hear it as well. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Uh, but to start off, of course, the three rescue rabbit. You always want to open it. Uh, basically, you banish it to special summon... Um, Two level four normal monsters from the deck with the same name, and your targets are going to be uh, three Saber Source and three Megalo Smasher X, uh, and then um, some support cards or kind of a combo. Or th this is more of a support card, but uh, three of the Bow Baboon. Um, this is really cool to help you with uh, unbreaking your hand. Basically, when it's normal summoned, you get to draw one card and place one card from your hand on the top of the deck or bottom of the deck. So if you open up multiple of your vanilla monsters, uh, that's a really nice way to get it back, uh, get them back into the deck. And then when it's destroyed, you get to special summon any number of uh, Bow Baboons from the deck. So usually two, and you'll get both of their effects off. So again, it's just really helpful uh, fixing up your hand. And uh, kind of for combo pieces... Uh, two or three Draco Net. Um, when it's normal summoned, you get to special summon one uh, level two or lower or norm normal monster from your deck, uh, which I'll get to here in a second. Uh, three Parallel Exceed. Whenever you Exceed Summon, or uh, sorry, when you Link Summon, you get to special summon that from your hand, and then um, you can special summon one from the deck, and they both become level four, and their attack is halved. Uh, but basically you'll just exceed um, after that. Uh, two Galaxy Serpent, the target for Draconet. Uh, just go into Synchro Play since it's a level 2 tuner. Um, and then you also go into your Link Plays and get Parallel Exceed Dragon off. Or Parallel Exceed off. Um, that'll do it for the monsters. Uh, off to the spells, I decided to run two pop of duality over two pop of desires just because when I was running desires, I was banishing a lot of uh, combo pieces. There was one time I banished all three rabbits, so I kind of didn't want to take that risk. And uh, with pop of duality, that's just uh, usually a free card unless they ash it. Um, I was actually able to get a, a rabbit off of it um, a couple of times, uh, actually, two times uh, during. Uh, this last week at Locals, so it was pretty cool. Um, two Cosmic Cyclone, just for back row hate, and of course Mystic Mine. I kind of feel uh, in most decks you need to have uh, back row removal. And then two really old cards that I was really uh, excited to use uh, was two Forbidden Lance. Um, basically, if you don't know what this does, since it is an older card, you're not going to really ever see it. Uh, that often, but basically uh, you can target one monster on the field, it loses 800 attack, and it becomes unaffected by uh, other spells and traps for the rest of the turn. Uh, this saved um, my Dolka and a Rabbit from uh, Infinite Impermanence, uh, so it was really cool, and also um, I was able to uh, target one of my opponent's monsters and make it weaker than my monster um, twice. It was really cool, uh, really fun to use. A lot of people were surprised by it, and uh, yeah, it was just really fun. Um, next, one mind control, just to snag uh, an opponent's monster, link off with it, and hopefully you'll have parallel exceed in the in in your hand, and you can just go off with that. Um, next, for the uh, going on with the traps, uh, kind of a big trap lineup, three lost wind. This is really strong, it helped me out um, all day when I was playing it at my locals. 
Uh, but basically, you target one um, one monster on the field, negate its effects, and half its attack permanently. And then if your opponent uh, is supposed to summon a monster from the extra deck and it's in your graveyard, you can set it. Uh, but banish it when it leaves the field. Um, two Phoenix Chain, uh, an another older trap card. Um, basically, you target one monster, that monster can't attack or change battle positions, and its effects are negated. Um, I am actually going to uh, be replacing Fiendish Chain with uh, two more Crackdown. Uh, as of right now, I only have one Crackdown, but uh, when I get two more, these will be coming out. Um, two Storming Mirror Force just uh, sends back all attack position monsters to the hand. Uh, really nice. Um, it only came up once, and I was able to send back, um, I think, only one Eldritch because the other one was in defense position, so it didn't really help. Uh, too much, but uh, you know, it, it can come up. Uh, two Solemn Strikes just to uh, negate monster effects and special summons. Uh, one Warning, one Judgment, and uh, to end, or almost to the end, uh, one Crackdown, which I want to bump up to two, and to round off the main deck, one Torrential Tribute. Um, off to the extra really quick. One Ally of Justice Cataster. Um, if you don't know what this one does, um, it's a generic Synchro 5, and if it battles a monster that's not a dark monster, at the start of damage step, destroy that monster um, automatically. doesn't target, so really cool. Um, one Armades Keeper Boundaries. Uh, I never really went into that one, but uh, I wanted to put two Synchro 5s in just in case uh, I get Draco Net off multiple times. And I don't really want to link, uh, but basically um, when he attacks, your opponent can't activate uh, Spell or Trap Card, or can't activate effects until the end of the damage step. So, kind of cool. Um, off to the XEs, one Gaga -Ga Cowboy. One Abyss Dweller, which came in absolutely clutch against a Orcus player, as I was able to shut him down, uh, along with the Dweller and just a bunch of traps. And um, I think um, I also was able to get uh, my Forbidden Lance off again, so it might have been three times, uh, where I was able to save one of my monsters from um, from an infinite impermanence, so that was really cool. Uh, one Gaia Samurai. Uh, one Evil Swarm Exiton Knight uh, came up once, um, but basically, if your opponent controls more monsters or more cards on the field and hand than you do, you can detach one during your main phase or during the battle phase and uh, destroy all other cards on the field. Uh, your opponent doesn't take any more damage after that effect resolves. That's just a big board wipe. Uh, number 101, you can detach two uh, materials, target one um, attack position monster your opponent controls that was special summoned and take uh, put um, put it as XC's material for number 101 uh, came up once I was able to grab a um, gizmic it was really uh, really cool really awesome to use it uh, one Dolka and one Logia uh, negates monster effects and uh, is basically a solemn judgment by detaching two XC's materials uh, one Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, just to kind of push for damage. Um, off to the Lynx, one Lynx Spider. Since I run a bunch of normal monsters, um, I was able to link off uh, into him, and then uh, special summon one of my dinosaurs from hand, which was pretty cool. Uh, one Lafalinkus, uh, just a generic two. Uh, one cross sheep, another um, basically generic two, just two different uh, two monsters with different names, uh, just to get parallel exceed off, and then it's uh, effect where if you um, exceeds to his own it points to your opponent loses 700 attack. Uh, it could be really really nice. Uh, one unicorn, just to kind of get uh, try to get rid of um, prob problematic cards, uh, and then one boral sword dragon to try to push for game. Uh, but yeah. That is my take on the Dino Rabbits uh, for 2020. Uh, it's pretty fun. Um, I feel that uh, 
It's definitely a casual deck, uh, something to have fun with. But yeah, hopefully this did help you out. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.